Granada Hills. Good, you're up under the blast. Don't go any further north. How bad is it? Took out a square mile. Do we know if this fire's end game? It wasn't. There's four more nukes out there. You need to pick me up. You said you were out. Not after this. All right, tell me where you are else in the car. I'm on the corner of Glasgow and 15. We'll be there. As fate would have it, 24 premiered just two months after the historic events of 9-11. And 24's unique look inside the world of counterterrorism struck a chord that resonated with millions of Americans. You would have to be mighty arrogant to imagine the success of this show. Uh, it's changed my life, uh, certainly from a career perspective. Kiefer has really re-emerged with his role in 24. It's really the role of a lifetime for him, and he's finally getting the recognition he deserves. In 2006, after several nominations, Kiefer finally won an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Dramatic Series. It was an emotional moment for Kiefer. His father, Donald Sutherland, looked on from the audience. The great moment for me in winning the Emmy was not the award itself, but being able to stand on stage in front of all of our peers. Uh, and friends and be able to look at my father and say hi. One of the great frustrations I had, you know, was that he would be nominated for an, an Emmy each year and it's like, oh God, he's so good, please let him win, you know, and last year when it happened, I was thrilled. When Kiefer finally grew up and he had this huge success with 24 and he won his Emmy and his father was in the audience and I gather after uh, accepting the award, the first thing he said to his dad was, are you proud of me now? Which I think says a lot about their relationship. I remember when I was 18 years old, and I think in two days, I watched everything from Fellini's Casanova to Don't Look Now, Eye of the Needle, Day of the Locust, Kelly's Heroes, MASH, Dirty Dozen, and I watched all of these films over uh, a two-day period, and I remember phoning my father, and I was almost crying. And I just had to say how sorry I was that I didn't know how prolific and brilliant and, and amazing he was. And it was simply because I was too young to watch those films. Kiefer signed a $40 million deal with 20th Century Fox to complete the three remaining seasons of 24, making him one of television's highest paid stars. Further increasing his commitment to the series and to his career, Kiefer became executive producer of 24 and immersed himself creatively into all aspects of the show. Many actors want that title, but for many it's a vanity. And honestly, as a studio, you're hesitant to give that level of uh, power and authority to someone who uh, is maybe doing it for, for reasons of vanity as opposed to uh, the reasons you'd hope someone would do it. In Kiefer's case, he's always been about the quality of the show. He's brought that same kind of professionalism uh, and work ethic from the movie world into the television world. The, the fact that he's given 24-hour commitment to 24 as an actor and as a producer you know, just shows that he's intense about what he does. You know, and there's some actors that, that work in a way where they're very happy to trust everything to you, to trust everything to the directors and the writers and the producers, and they just, they're the lines, I'll say them, tell me where you want me to stand. Kiefer's not that kind of actor. One day, uh, Kiefer and I were joking around, we were talking about winning the lottery, it wouldn't be great, and you know, it's in, and then we looked at each other and both said, this is the lottery. We have won it, and this is it. 24 has been our lottery. Kiefer Sutherland has turned Jack Bauer into an iconic American hero. He's gone from Hollywood bad boy to adult good guy as he branched out as an artist and producer. The question was whether he could keep it all together. After becoming a star on the big screen, in 2000, Kiefer Sutherland landed the role of a lifetime on television as Jack Bauer in the hit series 24. After six seasons, Kiefer has become one of the highest paid dramatic actors in television history and executive producer of 24. Kiefer Sutherland is committed to Jack Bauer 200%. As committed as Jack Bauer is to his job, Kiefer is as well. He's the only actor I've ever seen that shows up an hour early. I've never seen that in my whole career. With 24, this guy works. I mean, he's in every scene. With your physicality, it can help you find the character in many ways. Some people work from a very cerebral place. Uh, for me, uh, I get a real jump start, physical, uh, 
whether it's whether it's a fight sequence, whether it's just physically trying to get from one place, it cr creates a, a an honest struggle. There's no way to fake that. It is what it is. Um, so a character like this is a dream for an actor like me, and he's been physical from day one. And he manages to save the world and be sexy at the same time. I don't know. With his incredible success on the small screen, Kiefer has turned his attention back to the big screen, reserving his limited free time for various film projects. I've been fortunate enough to do films in the break every year, and so I've had an opportunity uh, to kind of flex that acting muscle in other characters. When Donald Sutherland was the age that Kiefer Sutherland is right now, a lot of his greatest performances we're still yet to come, and it's certainly easy to think there may be great things still on Keeper's Horizon. Kiefer has found balance in his life. He makes time for his daughter Sarah, who is now a young woman. Their relationship has shifted dramatically. The two are very close. He went on a really long learning curve as a father, a very young father. And in many ways, they practically raised each other. I remember when Sarah was about 15, 16 years old. And we used to, every Sunday night, we would go to the Hamburger Hamlet and we would play chess and I would make her watch football because I thought this was going to be somehow valuable for her later in life. She had made me laugh a bunch of times before we left the restaurant and we were walking back to the car. And I looked at her and I said, sweetheart, I am so sorry that we had to raise each other. And she smiled and she said, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. Celebrity hasn't destroyed him as it has so many others it hasn't screwed him up maybe that's because he was exposed to it at such an early age there's a very gentle side to Kiefer that maybe people don't realize he's a softy you know he's a softy he's a he's a sweet sweet guy Kiefer fulfilled another dream when he began Ironworks studio with his good friend musician and producer Jude Cole Ironworks offers budding musicians a chance to make their first recordings, an expression of Kiefer's commitment to developing young talent. He's always gravitated towards new talent, new artists, people he can relate to, but I think where his comfort zone is, is in the struggling actor or the struggling musician. Uh, I think that's where he, he's like, that's where I came from. I am a huge fan, and when I see a, a good rock and roll band play, or a good singer-songwriter get up and do their thing, it moves me, and, and it is so hard out there for them. Uh, the fact that we've been able to help a couple bands out has been a great joy for me. He doesn't talk about his private life anymore. He doesn't acknowledge when he's dating anyone. He's really tried to be quiet about what he's doing after his relationship with Julia. Having learned valuable lessons from the ups and downs of his own romantic past, Kiefer remains intensely private. I am alone at this point in my life. I have been for almost all of 24. And, uh, and uh, unfortunately, the show kind of requires that in a weird way. Uh, it requires that kind of attention. It's certainly that kind of a schedule. Uh, and it found me at the right time in my life. So I guess... 24 is my wife. Still the consummate bad boy, Kiefer is unapologetic about his work hard, play hard lifestyle. Always up for a laugh, Kiefer has found himself the topic of tabloid gossip over the years. I'm very content with the way I live my life. Uh, I drink a little, I smoke, I have no problems with any of it. Uh, I like to go out, I like to stay out late, I like to eat bad food. I, 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 I'm not a perfect person, and I'm very at ease with the way I am. And I, there's no one that can really take a shot at me for what I'm about, because it, I don't have a problem with it. I kind of like it. Nonetheless, Kiefer's partying has had some negative consequences. Late in 2007, Kiefer was arrested for driving under the influence. As a repeat offender, he has been sentenced to spend time in jail. The wonderful thing about Kiefer is, though he has these tendencies to sort of fly off and, you know, get drunk and do something stupid, he's a good guy. I don't want to imagine Kiefer Sutherland sitting around playing Scrabble. It kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit. Kiefer is still seen as a party boy, but the truth is he's gotten a little bit older. He's not the kind of guy who's going to be at the Hollywood clubs getting drunk and being very loud and vocal and 
covered in the press like he used to. I think Kiefer enjoys being Kiefer Sutherland a lot. I think there are days where he wishes he could crawl out of that shell and just be, you know, a nobody. Kiefer Sutherland transformed himself from 80s bad boy to 90s cowboy into America's favorite action hero in the 21st century. be identified with Kiefer, but I don't think it's going to be the be-all and end-all of his career.